Hey everybody, it's time to start off the month of Noir Vember with the 1948 film He Walked by Night, starring Richard Basehart and Scott Brady. Now when police officer Rollins observes somebody trying to break into a radio shop, he pulls over a check on him. But before he can do anything, the robber shoots him and makes his escape. Officer Rollins doesn't survive and so the killer is hunted down, led by police captain Breen, as played by Roy Roberts, with the detectives Marty Brennan, Scott Brady, and Chuck Jones, James Cardwell, helping him. Now the two detectives almost catch up with the, the robber at an electronics store that he was selling electronic equipment to, but he escapes, shooting and paralyzing detective Chuck Jones in the process. Afterwards, the killer commits a string of liquor store robberies, but uh, once the police realize the robberies have been committed by the same man, they rely on the witnesses from those robberies to build a composite sketch of, the fa of his face. Detective Marty Brennan figures out that the killer must have been associated with the police at one point, and in questioning other precincts, discovers that the killer is one Roy Morgan, Richard Basehart. Once the police discover or that where he lives, they close in on him. Will the police finally catch him, or will he escape yet again? Now, the story for this movie was inspired by the then-recent case of William Irwin Walker, nicknamed Machine Gun Walker, who had killed a police officer in 1946. Now, of course, in true Hollywood fashion, different things were changed for the movie, but don't let that stop you. I enjoyed this movie a lot more than I thought I would. Quite frankly, I thought I would be interested in the movie going into it. Now, while the credit director of the movie is Alfred Worker, there seems to be some contention that director Anthony Mann was involved in directing at least some of the movie. Well, I don't know one way or the other about that. I can't deny this movie left a strong impression on me. Whether it seems like when Richard Basehart's character is removing a bolt that hit him, Showing a blood and gore, or which is, I think, probably how the censors made things back then, but works for me. It's <laughs> or seeing how the police put together the composite image with the help of all the witnesses, or the final chase. I, this movie just has many wonderful moments. Of course, the movie's almost documentary style inspired Jack Webb, who played lab technician Lee in this movie to come up with what will become known as Dragnet, which started out on radio before becoming a TV show as well. All in all, a very interesting movie and one I would highly recommend. This movie is available on Blu-ray and DVD from Classic Flicks, either individually as a special edition with extras, or as a part of the three-film John Alton collection, which is a, a bare-bones set with just the three films, no oh, extras whatsoever. Extras on the special edition include a commentary by Alan K. Road and Julie Kurgo, with a feature on the movie, an image gallery, and a 24-page booklet with an essay by, essay by Max Alvarez, along with other, other pictures related to the movie. But of course, the, the transfer on this movie is also a highlight, considering how fantastic it looks, which makes it well worth it, whichever set you go with. The movie is one hour and 19 minutes in length. Well, that's all I have to say on this one, everybody. Thanks for listening, and I hope you'll keep tuning in for more.